Hey everybody, how's it going? Burke Crown coming out of the YouTube video, and today's video is on the new the new cards from the event, uh, Hut Heroes. We've got three very good names, and then also we got uh, a handful of other cards. One card that might be a menace, I'm not gonna lie. This card has been fantastic all year for a lot of people, and now he gets a huge increase. So I'll, I'll go look at him, and that's Gage Alexander, but uh, he's crazy he's been crazy for a lot of people i've heard nothing but good things about his 74 overall card or his 71 overall card i think it is um so what's his 90 gonna do his 90 plus gonna do right so we're gonna go look at him and we got a couple of good leaf theme team cards so that's good for us we like a lot of the cards that came out and the new event cards so let's go look at them guys if you do and of course as always hit that thumbs up button if you like it, it really does help me out don't forget to hit that sub button down below, guys, if you do enjoy the content, because uh, it'll make sure you don't miss anything in the future. And 80% of people watching my videos right now aren't subs, so if you do you do enjoy it, hit that sub button. But let's get into it, guys. Also, put in the comment section down below, out of these three Hut Hero players, the MSPs, which one do you like the most? Or is there another card that came out that you liked? But let's get into it, guys, and see what we think. Okay, so what we got here is a Mo Sider, Marcel Nobels, and Patrick Line. Gotta love high overall with speed and size. So we're gonna see exactly how these cards are built. And we will start with Patrick Line. So synergy is three stack. One skating synergy to get him up to a 95 speed. So that's nice. 99 in all of his shooting, obviously, is Patrick Line. He's got unstoppable force in close quarters, which I really like. At six foot five. Oof. Just an impossible monster to knock off the puck if you're looking for a massive right-handed shot on your wing six foot five 205 pounds with 95 speed this card is absolutely gonna destroy endurance 99 balance 98 strength of course 98 and because of the high overall he doesn't really have a weakness anywhere but center and he's not a centerman so that's this card is just unreal unreal honestly year end card this card would be on your left wing from now until NHL 24 comes out. Just because he's got size, he's got speed, he's got literally everything you need. And then Marcel Nobel, 6'3", 205. He comes with two skating synergies, which gets him 95 acceleration, 94 speed. I mean, elite edges. Born, born leader is not really one you're looking for this late in the season. As all four of your lines are stacked, so like the in, the energy boost isn't really anything much. Quick draw is always nice, but quick draw is always nice, but it's not something I'm looking at spending my uh, gold ability slot on. And as for everything else, I mean, top tier skating, top tier balance and endurance, top tier shot, top tier hands, top tier defense. Like this card is. There's not going to be any card that comes out that's over that's six foot three and taller with 95 speed that's not game game ending right like that's not end game card so if it's a name you like build it get after it enjoy it and if you like nobels he's definitely one that could be on your list but if you're looking at one out of three in my opinion right now line has the uh has the edge as the best one out of the two so far and then and then to finish off the msps we have mo cider six foot four two skating synergies which is nice because that gets him up to 94 speed at six foot four with his strength balance body check i'm gonna say it because i always say it truculence would be uh nice to have on this defenseman elite edges is nice tape to tape stick him up they're they're nice um i would still probably go the line a card just because i don't like i don't like the abilities on this card and i like the build for the line a his synergies and his abilities a lot more so if i was to order them i would go first is line a sec so if i was to order them first is line a second is most cider and third would be nobels and then there was two new leafs thrown into the mix ryan o'reilly being one of them his 94 still very slow um 99 face off yes everything is good yes but he's still very slow big tippers nice no contest big rig but 89 speed is hard to manage um he would have to be cheap if he's even available he is not and he probably wouldn't be cheap at 89 speed you would honestly be better with this prime time here if he is available and he is not that's par for the course right you expect it but 89 speed on this card as well he comes with gold he comes with gold close quarters 99 face off still like, you're not getting enough of a bump on the 94 to make it worthwhile when this 93 is probably significantly cheaper. Again, all pending on the fact that you got to find somebody selling it. 
which in this game is few and far between right now. Like you could select all of these Leaf players and you're not going to find one that'll be up on the market. And like this Ryan O'Reilly, this Ryan O'Reilly is brand new and he's not up. 93 Matthews, not up. Like it's just, it's something that has to be addressed. They have to figure this out because not being able to get the cards you want is also going to be a huge, a huge morale killer for people that just want to play the game. And they want to play with the players they want to play with. And here's a card that is just unreal to look at. Gage Alexander. 91 overall, 6 foot 7, 98 speed, 57, 56 aggression. This card has been unbelievably great at his 71 overall for everybody using him. Anybody that has this card in net knows exactly how good he is. And this 91 coming out is probably something that people are going to be taking a lot of interest in but again not on the auction house and then a uh, fun leaf card that i wanted to look at for the theme team is daniel winnick you know he comes with thief giving him 87 face off but he's not a center so that's fine and distributor but then you know shut down and make it snappy tape to tape six foot two to ten at 93 speed with 83 body check is actually bad that is a this is a weird build actually now that I look at it, I was starting to get excited for this card. 95 defensive awareness, 99 stick check, 94 strength. All his shooting is good, and he comes with 93 speed, and then you, you start to dive into this card at a 92. He's, he's still going to be good, but 91 balance, 90 endurance, 83 body check. Like, there's just some things that jump out at me, and uh, depending on what this card goes for, I would love to chase him to try him. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. And again, probably typical. <laughs> Not on the auction house. So, I mean, we probably couldn't try them if we wanted to. But yeah, guys, there's uh, there's some of the new cards. Um, MSPs, they did a terrific job on. Again, I just absolutely love that card art. Um, I love the little hanger packaging look that it's got to it. And yeah, line A would probably be the best one of the three for me. Hit in the comment section if you agree, or hit in the comment section with uh, who your favorite one is. But anyways, guys, I appreciate everyone for watching, and thank you, and ciao, ciao.